guys, welcome back. Parsha Places, Parshas Shemais. This week, of course, we learn about the Leida, the birth of Moshe Rabbeinu. The Chida writes, Lokom be Moshe, ki Moshe ad Moshe. The Chida writes that there was no one as great as Moshe Rabbeinu until the Rambam. Tonight, Thursday night, Friday, Erev Shabbos Kodesh, Parsha Shemais is also the yard site of the Rambam. And I'm coming here live to you from the kever of the Rambam in Tiberia, where there's a Hilula going on. Thousands of people are coming here to Daven at the kever of the Rambam. The Rambam, of course, was a tremendous lover of Eretz Yisrael. The Rambam visits Eretz Yisrael. He makes a yantiv the day he visits Yerushalayim and the day he visits Hebron. But unfortunately, the Rambam was not able to live here in Eretz Yisrael, and he ended, ends up passing away 818 years ago, exactly to the day in Mitzrayim, in Egypt. According to the Misorah, the Rambam's body is then brought here to the city of Tiveria, where he's buried, fulfilling the halacha stated in the Gemara Subas that the Rambam himself quotes the halacha in the end of El Choshoftim, that those who are unable to be live in Eretz Yisrael at least be buried in Eretz Yisrael, and that's a tremendous kapara. And he learns this out from Yaakov Avinu and Yosef Atzadik that even though they were Nifter and Mitzrayim, they were brought to Eretz Yisrael. So to the Rambam, Nifter and Mitzrayim, but brought here to Tiveria to be buried. May we be zeicha to live in Eretz Yisrael and following the way of the Rambam as he writes, Einoi doime, someone who lives here, kol totoi mechaim, it's not doime, those who live here during their lifetime, that those that are only able to be buried here. Everyone have a great Shabbos, kol tov, bye-bye.